people welcome back to some more card review so today we are looking at an interesting spell card today we are looking at boogie boogie trap all right so uh i should love this card because it has the word of my favorite song and if you're wondering what the hell you know you won't ask me daniel what the hell is your favorite song my favorite song is boogie on and on and you're like boogie on and on i've never heard that song yes you have you've heard it a lot because my intro that's Boogie on and on. My outro, that's Boogie on and on remix. So Boogie on and on is my favorite song. And this card is called Boogie Trap. And it should be good because it has the same name. So anyway, Boogie Trap is a normal spell card that reads, discard two cards, then target one trap card in your graveyard. Set that card. Okay. That set card can be activated during this turn. Mm-hmm. All right. You can only activate one Boogie Trap per turn turn okay so let me get this straight let me get this straight this is a normal spell it seems like it should be a quick play spell if it's a quick play spell maybe we could talk maybe we could talk but i'm gonna go neck two neck two i play this discard two card target the trap in the graveyard to set it on the field it could be after that turn but i use three cards three cards to set one trap from my graveyard and went neck two yeah, I don't think I like this card. I don't, I don't like it, you know? What trap card is there that is so freaking good right now? So freaking good that I wouldn't go neg two. Hmm? Hmm? Like, I, I, you know, strike is great. You no know, warning is, you know, but not neg two great. Not neg two great. Definitely not, you know? Like, I can only see this situationally in, like, a handful of things. And that's a sad thing. Like, maybe you can play it in, like, Infernoids. Play this, discard two Infernoids, big Infernoids that you don't give a crap about because, you know, they're in the hand of Graveyard, doesn't matter, right? Then target like a Void Feast and then you get to set it and then you can activate it that same turn so then you can activate Void Feast. Like, that's the only thing I can really think of, you know? There is no trap card right now that's just so freaking great that you want to go neck two on it. There, there really isn't. So, I don't know what you're doing. And even then, is there a trap card? Because it's like, oh, you can set that trap card and you can activate it this turn. It's like, is there any trap card that really you want to activate during your turn? Because like I said, remember, this is a normal spell card. It's only spells to be one. You can only activate it during your turn. It's not a quick play spell. So it's like, okay, I can set like Call of the Haunted, but I don't want to go neck two for like Call of the Haunted, Oasis, or any of those reliable cards. So that's not it, you know? Like, and if it's something like Strike Warning or D-Barrier, I can just set that during my opponent's turn. Like, this is a quick play spell? Then you can sneak up on your opponent with it? Then maybe you see it. Because if you activate this during your turn, this card, two card, set the trap card, obviously they can see it coming from a mile away because you're just going to set it, not play it during your turn, even though it could be activated during your turn, and then activated during your opponent's turn. So you went next two for whatever that trap card is, and your opponent can see it coming. Well, if this is a quick play spell, you can activate it, this card to set the, the, uh, trap card even maybe bait it out you know your opponent tries to activate like a back row destruction you chain this and then set the trap card so not only did they miss this but they missed the trap card that you just set and then you can go ahead and hit them with the trap card because of course this card can be set uh this set card can be activated during the, the same turn like i just don't understand why you want to go neg two to grab a trap card and there's just no trap card that is just so damn good that i want to go neg two on. like i said maybe in front of maybe with voice fees but even then i mean we're already doing left on mouth running. we already have enough fun, fun enough time going neg two aren't we people so i don't know i don't know for a spell card or a card that has boogie and from Boogie on and on, one of my favorite songs, my literally my favorite song. I just don't think this card's that good. I know I definitely will not be playing it. I'm not going neg two. I'm not. I'm not going neg two to grab back a trap card. It's just not worth it. It really isn't. So that's my opinion about Boogie Trap. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about Boogie Trap in the comment section below. Tell me, is there any trap card that you think is hand down? That's legal. That's legal. Hand down worth it to grab back from the graveyard to set and activate during the same turn and that you want to go neg two on uh, if you haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell for notifications and uh we are done with card review for this week so of course i will be back next week with some more cards to look at for card review so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the support i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching